Don, do you know what the prearranged signal is? I don't know what you're talking about. Claire, do you know what the signal is? Signal for what? Well, a few moments ago, you were hypnotized and told that shortly after awakening, you would be given a signal, which would put you back to sleep again. Now, do you remember? No. I don't. You're awake, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> I think so. Well, let's try a few things to see whether we can identify the signal. Is it that? I don't think so. I don't think so. No. How do either. you feel about that? No. Well, watch this. No, it's not that. Are you sound asleep, Claire? Yes. Don, are you sound asleep? Yes. Now I'm going to tell you something that happened to you when you were six years old. One day, when you were walking through the park on your way home from school, you found a small red purse, which you recognized as belonging to one of your little friends. The purse contained two shiny coins. You knew that the right thing to do was to return the purse and money to your little chum, and that was your intention. But when you passed by the candy store, the temptation was too great. You stepped inside and bought your favorite kind of gum with the money. Worried, you threw the purse away. You thought that you could hide the gum at home, but your mother caught you with it. When she asked where you got it, you were so confused that you said you found it. Your mother took the gum away from you. She said that you could have it back when you told her the truth. You were so worried that you never talked about the incident again. You felt that you had not only stolen the money, but lied to your mother. This worry continues to bother you, and it exhibits itself in devious ways in your adult life today. Do you understand? Claire, do you understand, Don? Yes. Now I shall awaken you by counting to five. A few moments after you have awakened, I shall rap with a pencil like this. And each of you will have a dream about the incident that I just described for you. You will tell your dreams to each other and compare their contents. Now I shall awaken you. One, two, three, you're beginning to awaken more and more, four and five, you're wide awake. Hello, how long have you been asleep? Not very long. 20 minutes, say. 20 minutes, how do you feel? Fine. How do you feel, Don? All right. All right. Do you remember anything that I told you while no. you were asleep? I don't. Mm -hmm. Don, you look a little worried. I'm not. Do you feel, do you feel a little anxious? I don't think so. How do you feel, Claire? <coughs> Do 
Can you tell me how do you feel? Bothered or sad or nervous? I think I feel a little nervous. You feel nervous. Why do you feel like you do? I don't know, but I just feel terrible. I have a definite tenseness. I mean, I, I feel all on edge, but I don't know what's causing it. You're rubbing your hands, aren't you? Yes. They're moist. They're perspiring more than usual? My hands are usually quite dry. And they're damp now? Yes. You have no idea why you feel this way? No. I just don't feel good. I just... I don't... I feel like I should be doing something or... Or I've done something or... What have you. Whatever what? it was, it was wrong or is wrong or will be wrong. Is there any... I don't know what to do about it. Is there anything that you feel that you could do to relieve it? No, not right now. I don't, if there is, and there may be, I don't know what it is. Well, I feel the same way that she does. I don't know what it is either. I, I... I'd like to find out what it is. You feel like you should go to sleep again? No. It would probably help. Well, what do you I feel think? I like I should tell somebody something, and I don't know what to say or to whom to speak. You feel like there's some inner tension? Yes. Definitely with me. Mm -hmm. But you don't know what's causing it? No. Well, let's see what this causes you to do. Anything happen? A thought passed through my mind. It didn't mind, too. Well, why don't you tell one another what your thoughts were? Well, you go in a carnival. Maybe you've never seen them. They have these round disc affairs that continually swirl very fast. And, uh, and you're thrown off of them, and you try to get back on. I was on one of these, and it was the reverse. I couldn't get off. This huge round disc would keep twirling me around and around and around. Well, there are these two little, two, two men, and somehow they have long arms, but their bodies are chunky. And they're dancing around it, and dancing around and dancing around it, and they won't let me get off. They won't let me get off the disc. And I couldn't get off. Well, that's funny. Uh, I had a thought that passed through my mind that sort of ended up with a carnival or a fair. It, uh, the first part wasn't too pleasant. I was in a forest or something, and the trees were, there must have been a terrific wind because the trees were whipping just like they were just trying to close down in on me. And I started running, and then I was at this fair or carnival, and everything seemed nice, but yet it didn't seem like I should be there. It seemed wrong for me to be there. I don't know, it's funny the way those things pass through your mind. It's funny they should sort of I mean, you should think of a carnival. Forced to think of a carnival. That's very strange. <coughs> Excuse me. I was running in this woods, and the trees were whipping around me. But all the same, I was stopping. I was running, but every once in a while, I would stop and pick up a pebble and put it in my pocket. <laughs> it doesn't make sense, but I, 
I would do this. I was in a hurry to get out of there, but still I would take time to stop Were and pick up Were you collecting them? It seemed to be certain ones I would pick up. But then I ended up at this carnival again and was having a much fun, but yet I knew I shouldn't be there. Did you take them out of your pocket? No, I kept them in my pocket. I, I didn't want anyone to see them. I, I felt sort of ashamed that I had picked them up because it seemed so silly. But yet I had. I had picked them up and stuck them in my pocket. But yet I didn't want anyone to know I was picking up pebbles because it, it seemed silly. It just didn't seem right for anyone to be trying to get away from something, but yet stopping to pick up pebbles on the way. Well, does this dream mean anything to you, Claire? What is your interpretation of the dream? Well, I, the only thing that I can think of now is the general mood. And that of um, a type of frustration not being able to get off this disc that kept going around so fast. You see? You feel like you're trapped? Well, yes. In a way. In that I... I couldn't get off the... Mm -hmm. the round disc. You just feel like you're going around and around yes, and around. Yes, yes. Is that the feeling that you have, Don? Well, not exactly. I mean, the latter part of the dream. I'm enjoying being where I am, but yet I have that feeling that I shouldn't be there. But I don't know, in the first part, with I'm here in this forest and the trees are all sort of closing down in upon me. And I start running and then I'm somewhere, I enjoy being there, but yet I, I know I shouldn't be there. What's your interpretation of Don's dream, Claire? Well, did it seem like you were... Did you want to take them? I don't know what it means. Well, I seemed to be compelled to pick up the pebbles, and something made me stop and do it. I was trying to get away from these trees lashing around me, but yet I still took time to stop and pick up a pebble now and then. What's your interpretation of Claire's dream, Don? Well... She says she's spinning around. To me, that would, I don't know, sort of signify maybe that she's in a quandary about something. But these two figures with long arms that are standing there on the outside. No, they're dancing. They're dancing. They're dancing around. Oh, or are they trying dancing. to get you? Or, you know, no, they're just, grabbing they just out for keep you? me from getting off this round disc. But you're going around and around. There's a picture in the front of that book, an ink blot. Would you like to look at it? What do you see? Red. Don, what do you see? Well, I, I really don't know. I, this one figure at the top of the page seems to... Well, I seem to connect that with myself for some reason or other, and the two black objects are... seem much larger than me and are closing in on me, frowning down upon me. They seem to be censoring me for something I've done, or... These two men are crying. They're crying because they've done something bad. But yet these two little red blots down on the bottom side seem to represent something, but I don't know just what they represent either. But they're crying. They're crying. They're sad and they're worried. They're crying because they've done something bad. Are these your two little men with long arms? <laughs> no, 
Well, those are pennies. I think. Two pennies. Well, that red could be the color of copper. Well, now, uh, to me, these two little black blots sort of look like the pebbles that I was picking up in my dream. And I would grab them in a hurry and stick them in my pocket. I was so afraid someone was going to see me picking up pebbles and laugh at me, because people just don't go around picking up pebbles. And they were just common pebbles, too. But I mean, I still see this, this top blot as myself. I seem to associate that with me. And these two black objects turning their back on me as if I had done something wrong, said something I shouldn't, or... I see all sorts of faces here. This has a long beak, and that's like a... a skull or something. That's strange. You look at the outside of the blot, and I look at the inside. Well, the inside doesn't mean anything to me, except that it's red and has two eyes that shine. Like, um, like some sort of fish, you know, deep down. Uh-huh. But these two eyes shine on the fish. That's what I see in the center. But on the outside, I see these. This is a, these are two death masks, and these are two, uh, something with a weird long beak on it. A weird long beak. The more I look at that, the more that becomes a red fish. We fish. both see these two red copper pennies down here at the bottom, but yet I associate the red object that she calls a fish as with myself. The pennies are and being... People turning their backs on me, and she sees faces in this. There's are they happy faces or sad faces? No, they're sad. They're worried. They don't feel good. And I don't know just exactly what this has, except that that's some sort of a handle to something. I can see that connection in there, but I don't know what they mean. I mean, they're... I can see where she brings in the handle. I mean, I can definitely see that in the picture. But aside from that, they're just sort of red blotches. I, can, I can't connect anything with them. Are the hands holding on to anything? No, the there are no hands. Are the handles attached to anything? It just seems to be sort no. of lying there loose. I mean, yeah. It seems to fit on to the red form. Well, they could be looking at it and crying, but they're crying. Yes. They feel bad. Yes. Well, you turn to page 525 now and look at the picture there. He's crying, too. What does that suggest to you, Doug? Well, the man that's standing seems to be... He's a kind I mean, man. He's a kind man. He seems to be, but yet the person he's seated, it appears to me that he's, he's being done censored something for wrong. something. He, he's done something that he shouldn't have done. Well, this person is kind, though. I mean... The one that's standing sort of seems to be like bawling a him out, like a but yet not in a malicious or bad way. But he's crying because he feels so bad. He looks quite dejected and not knowing he just what to wrong. do. He did something wrong, and he knew that he did something wrong. Was well, that's it his the impression I get. Do you think it was his fault? Yes, yes. I do. Yes, oh, it was his fault. But this man is a kind man. He looks, I mean, as you said, like a counselor or something like that. It, he's censoring the one that's seated, but yet he's doing it in a kindly way. And he has his eyes closed, this person has. As if to run away from something, to keep from thinking about something or telling something. 
Well, what have you? Well, I feel that he he has done something wrong and realizes it. But yet but he doesn't he's ashamed to... of it. He's looking down. He's ashamed of what he's done. And the person standing up there is trying to find out what he's done or is questioning him about it. But he's not going to talk about it. He doesn't want to talk about it. In fact, he doesn't want to think about it because it bothers him. He wants to run away from it. And therefore, he has his eyes closed. Well, this is a friendly person. I mean, it's, it's someone that's close to the other fellow. But that doesn't make any difference. He's he right. even wants to, he w even wants to, to, um, to take himself away from whatever it is. He doesn't want to... N well... He doesn't want to tell it to himself. Because he's I a... Mean, perhaps that would be it, but actually he isn't trying to get away, physically. He's sitting there, no one is restraining him. The no, person standing he, up is a very tolerant person. But he doesn't want it bothering him in his... in his mind. He doesn't want it bothering him. All right, let's close the book now. Put it aside. I'm going to call out. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to call out some words, and I want you to respond with the first word that comes to mind. Don, you'll take the first word. Claire, you'll take the second, and so on. Window. Open. Grass. Park. Candy. Stick. Money. Shiny. Desk. School. Mother. Kind. Steel. Money. Paper. Blow. School. House. Park. I can't think of a word. Car. Go. Nail. Hard. Gum. Chew. Two. Penny. Flower. Park. Letter. Write. Red. Purse. Friend. Mother. Water. Mother. Toy. Monkey. Truth. Mother. Lie. No. Home. Mother. <laughs> Worry. Me. Now tell me, why do you suppose you use mother so much? I don't know. I felt like I was definitely getting into a rut because I think for about the last four words there, I answered mother to each one. Why did you do that? Well, perhaps this whole thing is connected up somewhere in there. Undoubtedly, it is. It has nothing to do with pennies. Two pennies, I think. And then there was another, I mean, steel came in there. Did you or myself bring that out? I think I did. Any other clues? Money came up, and steel, for Money. And mother was the thing that came in there more than anything on my part. Well, I remember there was something I said that surprised me. I said the word after it. Another thing that came in several times was uh, park. I mean, green, grass, flower. Mm -hmm. Park. Park. And a reference to school came in several times in different ways. Desk, school, school, house. How do you feel about these words? They're significant. They definitely mean something, but getting them all together into a definite picture is another thing. What's your theory at the present time of your anxiety? Do you still feel uneasy? I don't feel as uneasy as I did. No, I don't. You feel that there is something that's still unresolved? Yes, Yes, definitely. because I don't know what these words mean. They're connected, but just how? I don't know how I don't they're know. connected. 
Do you remember what you said to the ink blot test? There were two pennies. There were two pennies. Two pennies were connected there. And there were two shiny eyes on the fish. Yes. It's two of something, I think. Yes. Two of something. Pennies, money, steel all came in there. Mm -hmm. But I keep thinking there's, there's something else. There seems to be something that there's one little on thing that, thing it's going that to connect the whole thing. At least that's look, the way I feel about looking it. Looking at the Rorschach, I felt there should be something else to look at. That there's something else well, I wanted to name that was important to me. In the picture, we had one person supposedly censoring the other one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, so who was being censored, do you suppose? Well, it's the person that undoubtedly stole money. Does that and seem that plausible, Claire? Seems like it might be myself. Oh, I see. They used the money. Somebody used. And in the pennies. picture, the other person, the person that I pictured as a tolerant person, undoubtedly must be someone's mother. How do you feel about that? Well, that Michael? sounds all right. That's and mothers associated with... Do you feel that you did something bad? I feel as if it might have been me. How do you feel about it, Claire? I don't feel that I did it now. I feel as though it was something told to me that made me feel bad. Who told you? No, I don't feel that way at all about that. I do. I don't there, feel that I, that I did it. But there's still something missing in the whole picture. There's one thing. One particular thing, and I think it's very important, and I think if I could think of it, I could... The rest of it would, would be revealed to me. And yet I don't think I saw it in the Rorschach. Nor do I think I saw it in the... There's a connection in there we've missed, Claire. It, uh, the color red has come in several times. In the Rorschach, we pointed out the two red pennies, not just the two pennies, but the two red pennies. And then... Uh, and the red fish, too. The red fish... It could be... And then red came in in the word association test somewhere. Uh, and he said purse. A red purse. Now that makes sense. A it, red uh, purse. That does. That definitely connects somewhere. Red purse and a green park. <laughs> red purse <laughs> and a green park. And like two pennies. Questions. And two pennies. Red purse, green park. And someone stole money. So well, it must have been me. I feel like it probably was. I stole some two pennies out of a red purse in the park. But yet, that's not all. What did you do with the pennies? You did something with the pennies, and I think that the pebbles that you had in your dream might be the pennies again. They could what very, do you think about that? They could very easily be. Of course, the pep... I mean, I, I was picking them up, and I didn't want anyone to see me picking them up as I was running, because I well, felt then foolish. You, and you said that uh, something about... Obviously, you had taken the pennies, and you thought they were in the red purse. Is that what you said? Did you no. say the pennies were in the red purse? But I think they well might have been. I think they probably were. Well... No, you said you took the pennies in the park. That's what you said. And, uh... There's something else that's so important. It's an object. Well, let's see what else has come into the picture now, Claire. As far, 
starting back with those dreams we had, there was something... I know what the round thing was. It was a penny. Only in my dream it was large. Instead of being small, as a penny is, it was a large penny. That disc that you were going yes. around and around on was a large yes. penny. But yet it was the basis of your problem, mm -hmm. that penny or the disc. Yet you connected it with a carnival or something, which is also pleasant. And I, my dream ended with something pleasant, too. I mean, so it would seem to me that the pennies that I found in the red purse in the park were used for some something pleasant. What was that? Now what else Candy. was given there? Candy was mentioned, wasn't it, in the word association test? It was a candy store. Is it the candy store? Well, how do you feel about the candy store? What, what happened at the candy store? Well, I feel it has some significance, but yet it isn't exactly everything. There's something, it comes into the picture definitely, I feel, but well, yet there's something more connected with it. Yes. yes there's this, this thing that's so important, this object, is inside the candy store. No. But it's not candy. Is it? It's not now candy. Now, what I must have done... How do you feel about it? Does that it's it, not candy. You feel that it isn't candy. No. No, but it's in the candy store. Well, how far are we so far? I mean, we've got to the point where I picked up a... a red purse in a park, and then it were two pennies. Two pennies. Two shiny coins. Two and pennies. And you took... and you took the pennies... And I went and to the went candy store. went to the candy store. store. And you got something then? at the candy store. Well, what else has come out in these various... Well, that's it. It hasn't come out, I don't think. I don't think it came out in the picture of the well, two wait a people minute now. or in the Rorschach test. Now, there's something else in the word association test. Why did mother come out so frequently, do you suppose? Because of... Well, mother of must have thing. found out about it somewhere or other. Because of this something that you took out of the candy store. I guess you took it out of the candy store. No, I, I don't think so. Because you had money. I had money. That I found in the red purse. And I took the money to the candy store. Well, and then mother well. found out something. I mean, whatever I got at the candy store, she found out about. Well, that's what I mean. You got something at the candy store. But I didn't take it at the candy store. I'm sure of that. What do you mean you didn't take it? I mean, I didn't just, I didn't steal something there. No, you paid the pennies for it. Yes, so I didn't But it's take not it. candy. No. It's not candy. Well, what else has come out now? Uh, let me interrupt at this point and ask you how you feel. I feel better. I feel better and I feel much better. But yet, better there's still... If I knew wh what it was that was in the candy store. Something... Something's in the word association test, if I could just remember everything that came out of that. Well, I'll give you a clue. Is it gum? Yes. Yes. It is. It's not bubble gum, but it's long gum. I found a purse in the park. Yes, and what did you do with the gum? Threw it away. No, you didn't throw it No, away. I took it home. I don't think... I took it home. I know I did. I don't think you chewed it, though, but you hit no, it. No, I took it home, and my mother found it. He didn't chew it. He hit it. No, I didn't chew it. My mother found it, and she felt awfully bad about it. And you but didn't, I never and got you the didn't gum. tell she her about it. Gum. That's right. You didn't did. tell her about it, and that's why the man in the picture had his eyes closed. He was hanging his head in shame. I mean, he was sorry that he had done this. But he had, I mean, I was sorry that I had done it. But at the time that I, uh, that I did it, I felt compelled to do it. But I knew it was wrong. And that's, that's it. I know it is. 
That's it right there. Sure. Don't you feel that it is? Mm-hmm. Well, sure it is. That's it. What are, what's the meaning of some of these symbols? Was there any symbol for gum? I don't Anywhere? know. That's why, that's what I was trying to find. Mm. And I don't know. I can't think I of can't, anything. Can't I can't anything bring the gum in there anywhere. Was there a symbol for the pennies? Well, I think the pebbles were definitely a symbol yes, for the pennies. Yes, and I know that, that the disc I was writing on... Her was disc. ...was a penny. And the two men were made out of pennies. Did you know that? No. We didn't know that. Yes, they were made out of pennies. And they, um, they were round. They were round and they were made out of pennies. But they were holding hands. And that's why they needed the long arms because they had to dance around me so that I couldn't get off. But they were pennies. They were pennies. Well, pennies came in all over the place. They came in uh, in the ink blot, in the Rorschach. The pennies came in there. And being rejected by the two black figures, the pennies came in in the two shiny dots in the red fish. figure at the top. Well, you say fish, I thought it was myself. But I can't get the gum angle in it anywhere. I can't place the, the I gum anywhere. I don't know anywhere. where it would come in. That's why it was so hard to find. Were there symbols for your guilt feelings? Yes. I mean... In the dreams? Yes, in, in the my dreams or your, in or your associations? Well, in my dreams, I felt that these trees were clutching at me, trying to come down at me. In the Rorschach, I felt I was being rejected by the two black figures. And the same thing with on being on the disc. It's a matter of type of frustration of worry, not being able to, of being closed in, not being able to uh, move. Yes, that's right. Now, as these impressions came to consciousness, you could recognize them and uh, feel right about them, couldn't you? That's right. We when they, when I realized them, I knew they were right. When you said gum, I knew it was gum. I did too. I knew that was it. And you feel now that all the tension is gone. I feel just like I always did. Yes. And you feel that the conflict is resolved. Definitely. And that you're a normal individual yes. again. <laughs> all right.